routing is the most essential thing you should know about Laravel because this is very important if you open the route folder here you have four files here for now we are not going to use API channel and console what we are going to be interested in is the web.php because this is where we write all our route file what is route route is basically when someone send a request to the URL how you are going to handle that this is what route is going to do for example if someone going to send a get request or post request if someone uh, in Laravel we have different uh, uh, method for sending requests we have delete we have patch and we have some other one too so for now if I come to the code as you can see it is very simple you use the route class and all the uh, um, almost most of their uh, their methods like get they are static you know about the static uh, if you know about the static function in the PHP you know that we you, you can use it without instantiating the class you can use the two uh, colon here and then the name of the function then you put get if the request is get you can use post if the request is post for example if I write get here then I can say if someone send a request to the my application and the URL as a test then what should I do in the second parameter you say run the following function this is this much simple as you can see if someone send a request just run this function what this function is going to do for now let's say this function is going to return you are viewing the test page I save it let's see what will happen if I come here after the instead of register I just write test as you can see you are viewing the test page here from the same line here you can write your HTML code here and you can copy all your content and put it inside it save it and refresh your page again it will work just fine but most of time you don't need to do this one you don't return this one you return any controller you return a view which we will discuss in the future for now just learn about gate uh, about the routing and how the route is going to be working here I remove the code here as you can see we have a few a few of them by default here the first one is get slash means if someone requests the home page what you are going to show us return view it says that you return a view as I said in the first video we, we are using the MVC or model or uh, model view controller view is that one and we showed you that view is always in the resource views directory here all our view or our view, view mostly they are HTML files if I open the welcome as you can see it is welcome.blade.php you should remember this in Laravel you have the extension of blade.php that's why the icon of them are like the Laravel icon it is because of the blade file uh, we will discuss about the blade file why they call it blade and how it, it is going to work in the next video for now we, if I open it is all HTML files as you can see we have CSS here and we have our Laravel code here in the previous video I show you that if you come to the home page as you can see there is a big Laravel here and the title is also Laravel so if I come here as you can see it is Laravel you can change it to a car repair and you can come down here and change this one as car repair too so if I refresh it as you can see everything changed here then under that we have our link to the Laravel documentation and other resources as you can see it is very easy but if you notice here if you notice something is different like if you have not used if like this in PHP right this is how uh, uh, condition or statements uh, anything in Laravel is going to work this is why we have the blade file here if your uh, file do not have the blade extension this command is not going to work because this is all related to uh, Laravel like auth like end auth like else like if and end if all of these things as you can see you don't need to open any PHP tag you can just write the PHP variable the PHP statement the if and else statement like that this is because of the Laravel and how it made it easy for you 
to work with uh, HTML and combine your PHP code with HTML. This is all programming code. This is not a uh, markup except this one. That's why this is ma uh, made by Laravel and it's very easy. So forget uh, talking about that for now. As you can see, it just opened the view. Let's, let's see how we open any other view. You write the route and say if someone send a get request to the test. Okay, let's not talk about the test, about the about. Then we can here we can come here and say it should trigger a function for us in the second parameter of the get. So again, this one also return a view. What is the name of the view? It should be about. So how you create your view? You come here in the resources, right click new file. Just write about dot blade dot php something like this one. As you can see, it is here. Okay, okay it is inside. Then it should not be inside the resource. It should be inside the layout. So I will move it. Yes, move the file. Oops, it should not be inside the the layout. Sorry for this one. It should be inside the view. So I'll move it in the view. As you can see, now uh, it should be right beside our uh, our home and welcome. Of course, you can put in the layouts too but you should change it something like this if you put it in the layout you can write it layouts dot about dot about like that instead of uh, writing a slash you can use dot something because it is more prog like programming something like that so for now it is just in the view directory in the views and you can open it here if i open for now you can write your html boilerplate and say this is about page and here about us if I come here for now refresh the page let's go to the about as you can see about us page if I view the source we can see everything about our coding here in the Laravel as you can see it is very very simple just like this one